in this lesson, we're going to talk about the sine law. So if you have a 90 or a 90 degree triangle or a right angle triangle, then we normally just use Sokotoa, which we've used before, okay? But what if you have a triangle that is not 90 degrees? Like let's say, um, I, whenever I do this, it always looks like a 90 degree triangle. Let's do that, okay? So what if you have a triangle, let's do that a bit larger. You get my point. So it's not a 90 degree triangle. Well, then you cannot use Sokotoa. Sokotoa only works if it's 90 degrees. So then what we use is the sine rule. Now the sine rule says A over sin A equals to B over sin B. Now let me quickly explain a little bit. So the A and the B, those are the sides, okay? And then the capital A and the capital B, those are the angles. Okay, so the way that this formula works is the following. Let's say, for example, we have, um, let's say we've got this angle here, 30. Now, remember, that's an angle. That's not a side. Now, let's say opposite, the side has a length of 6. So it's all about opposite, okay? Then, let's say, for example, this um, angle is 70. Then what is opposite that? Or well, opposite that would be this one, so let's call that x. And so what we could then use is the sine rule to try help us find the value of x. And the way that it works is the following. So you've got to choose opposites, okay? Let's, let's not say six, let's say seven, because it looks a bit weird. So these two go together, because they are the opposites. So they will go together over there, for example. So you could say seven, because that's the side. And then remember, these are the angles. And then these are the sides. And then the A's go together, because A goes with A, of course, and B goes with B. So, you could say 7 over the sin of its angle, which is 30, equals to X over the sin of its angle, which is 70. Okay? And then what we could do, and I'm going to do more examples with you later, or in this video, sorry. We're going to do, um, you could do cross multiplication, and that will help you to find the value of X. Okay, that's the basics of the sine rule. So let's go try some of these now. So A over sin A equals to B over sin B. Now these two are opposites, okay? Remember that this is the side and this in the corner is the angle. So we could say 30 over sin of its angle don't just say 86. A lot of students do that. They just say 86. But it must always be sin 86. And then on the other side, we could use... So we're looking for T. So they are opposites. So we could say 27, which is the side. Remember, that's the side first. And then the angle is T. Which we don't... I don't know why I did that. Okay, so the angle is T. Now what you do is you use cross multiplication. So you're going to say those two multiplied together and then those two multiplied together. So that's going to be 30 sin t equals to 27 sin 86. And so then to get t alone, or well, let's first get sin t alone, you can divide both sides by 30. Okay, now... They didn't ask us for sin t, they asked us for t. So now we've got to do inverse sin. So you, you know when you push like second function on your calculator or shift on your calculator? I don't know, everyone's calculator is different. But you're looking for the angle. So you're going to type all of that on the calculator. And that gives you 63.8. Point eight seven degrees. Now, there's something very interesting that I need to explain, and this is so important when it comes to the sine rule, which is this one here that we're busy using. It only only if you're looking for angles, which is what we are doing. We're busy finding angles right now. If we were busy finding sides, which we'll probably do um, later in this lesson, then you don't need to worry about what I'm about to say. But when you're finding angles, what I want you to quickly do is let's see if there's a second answer. Okay, let's see if there's a second answer. So what you do is you say 180 minus 63,87. Okay, you're always going to say 180 minus. And if you had to work that out, 
you're going to get 116.13. Now I want you to ask yourself, could 116.13 be the angle over here? The, the answer is going to be no for this one because if you had 116 degrees over there, if you added that to this 86, then these two angles are already larger than 180. But remember, a triangle, the angles, all three angles can only ever go up to 180. So this second option would not work, okay? So no. So the only answer is gonna be 63.87. But from now on, please check if the second answer will work. One of the questions or some of the questions in this lesson that we're doing right now, in the next examples, um, in this video though, they are what some of them are gonna have two answers and I want you to be able to see that. Okay, so let's do the next one. They're looking for angle K, which is this one here. And so let's go write out our formula. And so we look for opposites now. So remember, this is the angle, and this is its side. Okay, so they could maybe go over there. So we can say 25 over sin 119, and then for the next part, we could say this is the side and this is the angle. See how they're opposite of each other? We're not going to use P. That's just a random thing in this one. So you're going to say 13, and then you're going to say sin of angle K, which we don't know what that is. Now we're going to use cross multiplication like that. And then to get um, K alone, you're going to divide both sides by 25. And then you're going to go inverse sin to get the k completely by itself. Okay, and now you're going to go type that on, on the calculator. And you end up with 27.05 degrees. Now remember, we need to use that little check to see what 180 minus that would be. And that's going to give us 152 0.95. Now, can that angle, could that fit inside here? Well, definitely not, because then these two added together would be more than 180. And so the only answer for this one will be 27.05. Here's our next one. So let's quickly write out our formula. Notice that these triangles are not 90 degrees. Ooh, why did I do that? Okay, so we're looking for angle B. So that's this one. Now this and this, they can go together. So we could say seven over sin 30, and then B, and now we're gonna use these two, which is then gonna be eight over sin B. And I didn't choose, I didn't choose, um, sorry, I didn't choose these ones, the eight, because it's a B and this is the B. No, I chose it because that's the only other one that we have, and this is the angle that we're looking for. So I didn't use C, because C just has no information at all. So we're gonna now do cross multiplication, like that. And so if you had to get sin B by itself, and then to do B by itself completely, you're gonna have to use inverse sin. And so B, is gonna be 34.85 degrees. Okay, now, let's see, what would, um, what would 180, let's, let's see if there's a second answer. 180 minus 34.85 is going to be 145.15. Now, could that fit over here? Yes, it actually can, because if that's 145.15, and if you add that to 30, that only gives you 175. So that means that there's still space for this angle to be able to fit to make 180. So this question has two answers. This would be the first answer, or 145.15 is your second answer. So this question has two answers, okay? Now we're gonna start looking for sides. See how they want BC? So that's the whole side. Now we're not finding angles, but we still use the same formula. Don't. And so we look for opposites. So this, so this is the side. This is the angle. 
So it's going to be 27 over sin 57. And then the other side, okay, so now the, the next thing we're looking for is this side. Okay, so that's BC. And then its angle is 69. So we have the angle now. Okay, so you're going to use cross multiplication. There we go. And now to get BC by itself, you're just going to divide by sin 57. So you're going to end up with this. Okay, and so to get BC, you're just going to go put all that on the calculator. And that's going to give you 30.06. Now you don't need to go check for other answers. That's only when we were looking for angles. Okay, so here's our next one. So let's quickly write down the formula. Remember, we don't use Sokotoa because it's not a 90 degree triangle. So let's look for the first opposite we see. Ah, there it is. So we just go fill that in. Now, we're looking for DE, and that is opposite the 36. Okay, so we're going to say DE, and then the angle is 36. There we go. Cross multiplication. See, with cross multiplication, that goes there, and that goes there. And so now to get DE by itself, you can do that. And so DE will be 15.02. Okay, let's do, whoops, that doesn't look so nice. Okay, let's do another example. So now they want QR. So let's find our first opposite. Oh, no, that's not an opposite, Kevin. Ooh, we don't have an opposite. Don't worry, check this out. Because you see, we have this 33, but we don't have this angle. However, we know these two angles, so we can easily work out this angle. So we could say 180 minus 101 minus 33, and that would be, because remember all the angles in a triangle must always add up to 180. So that would be 46. So Q, um, angle Q is going to be 46 degrees. So we can fill that in now. Now all of a sudden we have an opposite. You see? So let's go write out our formula. And so we could say 33 over sin 46 equals to, now what are we looking for? We're looking for QR, okay? So QR is this one. And the opposite of that is 33 degrees. Then we can use cross multiplication. There we go. Now we can get QR by itself. And so that would be 24, 99. 